is coming at the U.S. Canada border tonight. Thanks so much for joining us tonight at six. I'm Alice Kang and I'm Liz Treppa. Brian has the night off late this afternoon. President Biden and Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau giving an update that will impact illegal crossings along the northern New York and Vermont border. The deal allows both countries to turn away migrants who try to cross the northern border at any unofficial checkpoint. This announcement has prompted more people trying to cross the border today. NBC 5's Amanda Martin Ryan is at one of the most popular spots in our region for asylum seekers. I'm in Champlain where since early this morning, vans have been coming up and down Roxham Road, carrying migrants hoping to seek asylum in Canada. And now that this entryway point is being shut down permanently, more migrants have been racing to cross over before the end of the day. If you cross that line, you'll be arrested for illegal entry. Do you understand that? I understand. Okay. For tens of thousands of migrants, Roxham Road has been a symbol of new starts for some. The environment is fantastic and this uh, I heard about also the internet and the people who are, uh, you know, across the world, I am just, uh, that is a kind country to welcoming the immigrants. So that's why I am, I am also trying to move somewhere like uh, to make, uh, to make a proper life with, uh, with all the human rights. And for others, a journey necessary for survival. One man from Nigeria shared what happened to him and his father back home. Fortunately, um, he passed away. He has, um, he's a bishop, and he had um, issues in, uh, in Nigeria. You know, he was preaching the gospel. So he preached in the wrong place. And he usually takes me with him to play music, because I play music. So, um, fortunately, they tried to kill both of us. But for Americans and Canadians alike, the illegal border crossings have been the root of concerns for nearby residents. Vermont Senator Peter Welch speaking on what Biden and Trudeau's imminent agreement means for both countries. We have to be able to control this uh, in mutual cooperation, which has always been solid between Canada and the U.S. We're cooperating again. While chatting, both countries will continue to help refugees get asylum. The way we can continue to be welcoming is make sure it's orderly, it's organized, and that we can have a really good uh, system by which we are able to help folks uh, who are in need. Northern New York Assemblyman Billy Jones adding he doesn't expect migrants to be discouraged from passing through Roxham Road right away. In a statement provided to NBC5, Jones saying, this is not a faucet you can just turn off. Asylum seekers will still travel to the North Country in the coming weeks, and we need federal resources and personnel to handle this situation short term. And the people looking to cross say their lives are depending on the help offered by both countries. The man from Nigeria, overwhelmed with emotion about his next move. Fortunate. Uh, um, I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm stranded. Regardless of Border Patrol's presence at the end of Roxham Road and other border crossing locations along the U.S. and Canada, refugees still express gratitude for the humanity both countries offered over the past several years. This is the way that to treat the people who are suffering from different things. Actually, this is the real examples of humanity. This is the this is the examples how the nations are going up and what is the uh, you know how sentiment and emotions of the humanity. It's unclear what exactly will happen to the migrants who continue showing up here on Roxham Road, but the ones who did make it in time said they couldn't feel more fortunate. In Champlain, Amanda Martin-Ryan, NBC5 News.